long way. <laughs> Must have been pleased to find some of you, individually some of your best form last week here. Yeah, it, it was nice. Um, you know, I feel like I've been playing a role and um, I didn't do a whole lot differently, to be honest. But, yeah, the ball bounced my way a few times early on and then you, you get a bit of confidence. And um, I think the difference probably was I used the ball a little bit better than what I have been in previous weeks. And, um, yeah, it was probably a little bit cleaner as well. So it was pleasing from that, um, you know, from that end. But also the fact that we had so many contributors, I think, you know, everyone played a really solid game and the guys that came in and, and a few guys um, really found their best footy, so it was great. You said early in the year it probably takes a little while to get used to the new faces and the tendencies. Do you feel like you've got that cohesion now? Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, we've definitely... I mean, we're going to keep improving. It's always going to be the case, but um, we're starting to find the right mix now and, um, yeah, every game's different. You know, you can play different positions for different percentages of time each game and... Uh, even, even you know, someone like Will Ashcroft might play forward more in certain games and then more inside just depending on who we're coming up against and what we need. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is good. We've been able to gel um, and keep improving that each week and hopefully we can build into the um, latter part of the season. Yeah, on that, do you feel like you have kind of got over that mid-season hump? Like it's a, it's a long year and you've got those, those three weeks of buys, a bit of a grind. Do you feel like you kind of can see the finish line almost now? Uh, yes and no. I, I think from now it's a really important part of the season to to start building um, building your team's form. You see the teams that win the Premiership most years they you know they all start in different ways, but the common thing is that they, they build the last few rounds and then into the into the finals. So that's a really important um, thing to do. But in saying that, we've still got seven or eight rounds to go. We've still got some really good sides. The ladder's um, close enough. So yeah, we've got to keep performing well. Um, you know, before we can get too far ahead of ourselves and put ourselves in the best possible position come the end of the year. Not what about West Coast, their last, um, got smashed a couple of a weeks ago, but we're a bit better yep. on the weekend. What's the sort of attitude with this in, um, in the sense that it's a game that everyone thinks that you guys are going to win? Nothing changes for us. Uh, I think the thing for us is that we've actually, a lot of our players have been in that position before, um, down the bottom end of the ladder. and. I know, you know, 2017, 2018, when we were coming up against good sides, we saw it as an opportunity to um, knock them off and, you know, a great opportunity to test yourself against the best. So they've got a, a lot of young players. So Adam Simpson said they have, you know, four, five, 18, 19 year olds, maybe even more, um, which is exactly the position we're in. And you're young, you're enthusiastic, and you just want to challenge yourself against the best. Um, so we know that they're going to bring their, their best shot. and. Yeah, they, they really took it up to the Saints, so we're under no illusions that uh, you know it's going to be a tough game. And yeah, every every team at their best in this competition is is really hard to play against. Is there half an eye in Melbourne though? It's, a, it's such a big game. A week beyond that, that you, is it hard not to think about what you might have to do this week to get better, prepared for that? Yeah, oh, we definitely. I mean, we look at the season in blocks of games, so. Um, you tick off, you know, three or four at a time, and try and do as well as you can in those blocks. But in saying that, now that we're into this week and we're reviewing, uh, we're previewing West Coast. We're not looking at Melbourne at all. Um, but we understand that, you know, West Coast, Melbourne, Geelong, they're three pretty big games that can really either set our season up or, um, you know, put us back with the pack, if if you will. So uh, yeah, we understand that that's um, a really important block of footy for us, but. At the end of the day, we've got to focus on this week and what we can do to, to play really well. Fade said after the match that that Hawthorne loss was almost like a refocusing, particularly on the team defence. Do you feel like you've still got a, a, a lot of uh, growth and room for improvement <coughs> over the remaining weeks of the season? Yeah, there's always instances in games where your team defence isn't up to scratch, and uh, I thought we took a really good step in the right direction against Richmond. Sydney, there were some good signs, but we still gave away some easy goals and. Uh, yeah, we, we had our review yesterday and although it was good, there was still certain areas where we could improve and certain goals that we gave up that we, we felt like were preventable. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be perfect, but I think we are going in the right direction with it. Has Josh done with the cup? Like, how's he been um, since last week? Yeah, he seems to be going well. Uh, we've obviously got training out here today, so we'll see how he goes. Uh, he's been extremely important for us, so we're hoping that he can get up, but if he doesn't, 
you know, Dev Robinson played in in the midfield when he went down in the last quarter and did some really nice things. So uh, we've got lots of options playing in the VFL and lots of depth. And uh, you know, you, you don't want to lose plays, but hopefully we can cover them. Cal Marchi out with concussion as well. How much for Watson's head? Yeah, he did really well when he came in. I think probably in particular the second half, he did some really, um, you know, good things out there. He's really strong, um, plays a variety of different positions for us. He was playing forward and wing on the weekend, but he can also play back. Um, had some great contests. So, yeah, it's such a shame to see him come in and, and get a go and, and do what he did and then have to miss a week. But, yeah, as I just said before, we've got guys that are really ready to go in the VFL um, that'll be excited to get their chance. You said earlier that um, you know plentiful disposals on the weekend. You were saying you were using the ball a lot differently last game. What do you put that down to? Uh, oh, look, it wasn't really. I mean, it's been a focus area of mine to to keep improving that area, and I feel like it is a strength of my game and something that I can um, you know really help the team with. I think probably just thinking clearly and, and making good decisions was the number one thing. Um, you know, it helps when we were able to get the ball from inside to outside and I was able to have a little bit of time and space to deliver it inside 50 on a few occasions. But, yeah, it's, it's not just what I'm doing. It's the whole connection of the team. It's where the forwards are leading. Um, you know, it's how we're getting the ball out and how well we're... or how clean we are from stoppage that allows, um, you know, certain players to be able to use their skills and deliver the ball inside 50. So, yeah, I'm always working on it and hopefully it keeps clicking like that. But there's, there's always going to be games where it's a little bit tougher. Pushing back, pushing to be back for them. Uh, how does that change how you prepare for him? Yeah, he's an amazing player. He, he reads the ball really well, and um, you know we've played them a few times before. I remember 2019 when we played them, and they were in really good form. We we had to put a lot of time and work into their key defenders to stop them from marking the ball and launching their attacks. And it's no different this time around. Um, so I'm sure our forwards will look into a few plans for for him and um, their other key key defenders to stop them from. Uh, having an impact because we know that if we can get the ball to the ground, our small forwards are super dangerous and can get to work. You just on the on Eagles again with um, in terms of not only beating them, but um, you had a really big win the other night in terms of uh, what's the name your um, percentage. Yeah. Is any win okay this weekend, or does it need to be a big win for that same reason with the with the percentage, knowing that you know that might be important at the end of the year? Oh, obviously, every game you're looking to go out there and win by. Or win first and foremost, and then win by as much as you can. Because we've seen, even for us, um, there was a year where we were right on the edge percentage-wise to make the top four. Um, so it's always something that you know you you want to keep improving, but it's never something that you talk about. Uh, we just see how see how we go. Um, first and foremost, we want to just do the things that we do really well and, and put in a good performance, and then the rest is just a byproduct of that.